Learn with Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Uh -huh. I see you were hungry, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at how messy you are. Uh -huh. I think you should wash those hands. <laughs> and brush your teeth. Uh, Eddie, come on. Let's go to the bathroom. Come on, Eddie. First, let's wash your hands. What do you think we need first? <laughs> Eddie, carrots for washing your hands. All right. Come on, put your hands in the water. Perfect, now we get a little bit of soap. That's it. And now we rinse our hands, Eddie. Very well. And lastly, we towel them dry. Perfect, we are finished cleaning our hands. Ooh, you need to brush your teeth as soon as possible. Let's see, Eddie. Where's your toothbrush? No, Eddie, I said toothbrush. What you use to brush your teeth? <laughs> Very well, Eddie. Now hold the toothbrush while I apply toothpaste on it, just like this. And now we open the tap and wet the toothbrush a little bit. Perfect. Here we go. Now open your mouth and brush away. In order to brush your back teeth properly, you need to follow circular motions, cleaning one tooth at a time, making sure you clean all of the sides of each tooth. Okay, Eddie? Now let's brush your front teeth. In order to brush your front teeth properly, you must follow an up and down motion, making sure we get rid of all the dirt. Done! Well done, Eddie. Now it's time to rinse out your mouth with water to get rid of all of this toothpaste. Now we grab a glass, fill it with water, give it to Eddie, and put it away. Come on, rinse out your mouth. Well done, Eddie. Now spit it out. Do it carefully, Eddie. Well done, Eddie. Now let's wipe what's left of this toothpaste. We get the sponge. And... Perfect. Good job, Eddie. Now you know how to wash your hands and brush your teeth. See you on our next video. Hi, Eddie. Hey, what's with the lab coat on the coat uh -huh. stand? Do you know who uses that kind of coat? That's right, Eddie. Doctors. Do you want to use it and play as being doctors? Let's try it on. Done. It looks great on you, Eddie. What about you guys? What would you like to be when you grow up? You can tell us in the comments. Hang on, Eddie. In order to be a real doctor, you also need medical instruments. Do you know what those are? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find out together. Let's see. When you're caring for a patient, the first thing uh -huh. you have to check is their temperature. What could we use for that? Uh -huh. <laughs> no worry, ice cubes are for lowering the temperature when it's too high. But first you have to measure it. Uh -huh. That's right, Eddie. You need a thermometer. Next, you will have to check and see uh -huh. if the patient's heart is beating properly. So we need to listen to the heartbeat, Eddie. But Eddie, the uh -huh. megaphone is for your voice. A person's heartbeat isn't that loud. We need a stethoscope. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that hard. Stethoscope. Got it? See, this part goes in your ears. And the other uh -huh. end goes over the heart. Let's see, what else is there? <laughs> Okay, Eddie, if someone had a sore throat, we would have to check it. What would uh -huh. we use to hold down their tongue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a bit much, Eddie. If we use those, we would pull out their tongue rather than hold it down. <laughs> That's it. The stick is better. But the throat is dark. We would need some mm -hmm. torch to have a proper look at it. <laughs> well done, Eddie. The mirror will help us to see better. And to finish up, do you remember when you went to the doctor's and she checked your reflexes by lightly hitting you in the knee? Well, we need a hammer to do that. <laughs> no, Eddie. <laughs> that's a claw hammer. It's best we use that one. It's made out of rubber and doesn't hurt when you use it. And finally, we need a small torch so that we can light up the darkest parts of the body. Don't worry, Eddie. It's only normal you can tell them apart. The kind of torches doctors use are long and thin. They look a lot like pens. See? Check it out. 
Oops, sorry, Eddie. I didn't mean to blind you. <laughs> Here we go, Eddie. Now you're a true doctor. Hi, Eddie. Oh, you're so messy after working in the garden. You'd better take a shower. Here we go. First, we have to take off those dirty clothes. That's it. You're going to be as clean as a whistle. And once we're done, we'll do the laundry, okay? <laughs> Perfect! Into the water! That's so cool, Eddie! Is it a submarine? <laughs> Great! You'll have to show us how to build one! What do you say, guys? Do you want Eddie to show us how to build toys out of recycled material? You can leave your ideas in the comments! <laughs> Great! Well, now I'm going to quiz you, Eddie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. I just mm -hmm. want to know if you remember how to bathe. Ready? <laughs> okay. Where do we begin then? <laughs> exactly! First, we have to lather you up and get rid of those stains. <laughs> oh, I think something's not working. There's no lather. <laughs> Exactly, Eddie. First, we need some shower gel. Here we go. That's much better. We have to scrub thoroughly so as to get rid of all those mud stains. Are you still there, Eddie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look like the Yeti with all that lather. Mm -hmm. We'd better rinse it off with some water. Which tap should we use? The red one or the blue one? Mm -hmm. That's it, Teddy. The red one is for hot water, mm -hmm. so we open it. Wait, Teddy. Remember to check the temperature first. Is it too hot? Don't worry. We'll open the cold tap a little bit. There. Now it's not as hot. Go ahead, Teddy. That's it. Perfect. I know, I know. Now we have to towel you dry so that you don't catch a cold. But let's empty the bathtub first. You can start thinking about how to do the laundry while I towel you dry, because we still have to take care of your dirty clothes. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Don't you just feel better after taking a shower? Much cleaner? <laughs> Great! Well, now we can try all of that yummy food we harvested from the garden. But first... <laughs> We have to grab all of the dirty clothes and do a load of laundry. Mm. <laughs> Come on! It won't even take that long. You'll have fun deep down. <laughs> and what about you guys? Can you also do the laundry like Eddie? <laughs> you can tell him in the comments. He's always excited to read them. <laughs> hey, Eddie, do you remember why our washing machine has two different drums? Uh -huh. That's right, Eddie! Because mm. white clothes and colored clothes aren't the same. Mm. <laughs> if we wash them all together, the colors might bleed, and the whites will come out colored. <laughs> Don't worry, sorting your clothes is easy. For example, let's see what we have here. These dungarees, where do they go? Mm. Well done, Eddie, you got it right on the first <laughs> try. Since this is a colored item, it goes in the colors drum. Mm. <laughs> Don't be so smug. There are still some clothes left. What do we do with this t-shirt? Mm. No, Eddie. That mm -hmm. one goes in the white drum. You got it wrong, and I think I know why. It's because of the stains, isn't it? Mm. They are brown, after all. But those don't count. Only uh -huh. the original color of the t-shirt counts. <laughs> and what about this cap? Where does it go? Mm. Hmm, I think you're confused, Teddy. E? The cap is white, but it's not just white. Uh -huh. That's it, Teddy! Since it has several colors, it goes in the colors drum. <laughs> Boy, don't forget about the dirty gloves. What are they? White or colored? <laughs> exactly! I think you're getting the hang of this. <laughs> Since the gloves are white, they go in the white drum. Should we turn on the washing machine, Eddie? <laughs> uh -huh. 
You're right, Teddy, we have to add detergent first. The laundry won't come out clean if we only wash it with water. Let's also add some fabric softener. Do you know what it's for, Eddie? Uh -huh. It's for making the laundry soft. Isn't this easy? <laughs> <laughs> we just have to turn on the washing machine. Perfect! Let's see! Hi, Eddie. How is your painting coming along? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my, you're so messy. Hmm. We're going to have to bathe you. But first, could you like to finish your painting? Hmm. What's the matter, Eddie? Oh, you've run out of green paint. How will you to paint the grass now? Hmm. Let's see. Let me have a look at your palette. Uh -huh. See? No need to worry. You have yellow, red and blue. They are what we call primary colors. We call them that because we can obtain any color we want by mixing them uh -huh. together. Do you want to give it a go? <laughs> For example, if we mix together a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow, we get green. And now you can paint the grass. And what about you guys? What other mixtures of colors do you know of? You can tell us in the comments. <laughs> Don't paint so fast, Eddie. No wonder you got so messy. Come on, let's hop into the bathtub, okay? All right, now we are ready for a quick bath. Let's see, what can we use to scrub clean those paint stains? Yes, Eddie, the toothbrush is for cleaning but only teeth. For your body, it's uh -huh. best if we use... Well done, Eddie. Sponge. First, we pour a little bit of shower hell on it. And now we use it to scrub your body. Brace yourself because we're going to have to scrub quite hard to get rid of all of these paint stains. That's it, hang in there. We're almost finished. Done. And now let's rinse away the lather. What do you prefer, Eddie? Hot water or cold water? Hot water, of course. You'd freeze otherwise. Wait, first let's check that the water isn't too hot. Wow, it's really hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's open the cold water tap slightly. Any better? Perfect, let's have a look at you now. Oh, you still have a couple of difficult paint stains. Uh -huh. Don't worry, we'll use a little trick. Body oil. See, we apply a little bit of oil on the stains and we use the sponge to scrub again. And now stains are magically gone. We just have to tell when you dry. And now you're ready for a new adventure. Yeah, Getty. What a dirty mouth. <laughs> Come on. Do you want to learn how to brush your teeth? <laughs> That's right, Daddy. Excellent. Okay, where's the toothpaste? Uh -huh. Oh no, Eddie! <laughs> Come on. We'll get rid of this toothpaste that we can use. And now we'll grab a new one. Let's put in the car with colder, okay? Now we need the toothbrush. Do you remember where you left it? Uh, let's see... Ha ha ha! Eddie! How did you get the brush in your ear? Uh, Come on! Let's get the brush out! Yuck! Look how dirty the brush is now! Let's get rid of this brush! And now we get a new one! Now we have to put the toothpaste on the toothbrush! Let's get it done! That's right, Eddie. Excellent. We wet the past just a little. And now, to start, open your mouth wide and brush. To clean your teeth good, you have to do it in a circular motion and one at a time, making sure that we cover all areas. All of the tooth needs to be rid. That's right, Eddie. <laughs> Great job, Eddie. Circular motions. We have to make sure all the black disappears. Very good, Eddie. Those teeth are almost done. Now we go to your front teeth. To clean the front teeth good, you have to move your brush from top to bottom. Okay, Eddie? <laughs> Let's go then, Eddie. That's it. We brush from top to bottom, making sure that we cover all the front teeth. We're almost done. 
finished. Great work, Eddie. Now you have to rinse your mouth with water to remove anything that remains. Let's take a glass. We fill it with water. We give it to Eddie. We leave the glass in its place. And now it's time for Eddie to rinse. Excellent, Eddie. Now spit it out in the sink. But do it carefully, Eddie. Very good, Eddie. Now we are going to clean what's left. We take a sponge. We wipe. And finished. Very good, Eddie. Now you know how to bruise your teeth. See you on the next video. Wake up, Eddie. It's time to get out of bed. Check it out. I think someone's left a gift under your pillow. It must have been the Tooth Fairy. You lost a tooth yesterday, remember? I placed it under your pillow and the fairy came and took it at night and left a coin instead. <laughs> no, Eddie, that's the Paris Mouse. You were visited by the Tooth Fairy this time. I have an idea. What do you say we dress you up as the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> this way, you'll be able to recognize her if you see her again. Have you guys also been visited by the Tooth Fairy? What did she bring you? You can tell Eddie in the comments. <laughs> Here we go. Do you know what fairies are? <laughs> They're fantastic creatures who look after us. <laughs> Do you know what they were? <laughs> Eddie, firefighters look after us when there's a fire. But they don't belong in a fairy tale. Have another thing. <laughs> of course, this bodysuit is much better. Fairies are small, delicate creatures. Now, the bottoms. Come on, Eddie, this one's easy. Which of these would you like to wear? <laughs> the skirt. Well done. <laughs> and it looks like this fairy also wears your favorite color, pink. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. But wait, there are still a few things left. Pick the shoes you like best. We're taking the white ones. Check out how sparkly they are. It's because fairies are magical creatures. <laughs> but let's finish your costume first. Let's see if you can guess what fairies wear on their heads. That's right, Teddy, a crown. Just like this one. That's because they rule the realm of dreams. Remember I told you they're also magical? Therefore, they'll need... A wand. Just like all wizards and witches. Now you just need your wings, so that you can fly over to children's pillows. <laughs> oh. Amazing! You have a great <laughs> command of magic, Kenny. <laughs> Eddie, where are you? <laughs> You've shrunk! You're just like a tooth fairy. <laughs> now you'll be able to sneak under children's pillows unnoticed. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> we did a good job cleaning the pool. It's as clean as a whistle. <laughs> and I think we're also going to have to clean you too. <laughs> Would you look at the state of you? <laughs> you need a proper bath. <laughs> oh, by the way. I went to the supermarket yesterday and I bought some bath products. Oh. Want to see them? <laughs> I think we have everything we need. Can you guys think of anything else we could buy from the bathroom? Help us out and leave your ideas in the comments. Come on, Eddie. Let's see if you know all of these items. And let's color them in while we're at it. This one right here. Do you know what it's for? <laughs> for your mouth? No, Eddie. This is a comb for your head. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you have no hair. That's why you mistook it for a toothbrush. <laughs> See? This is a comb. It's for combing your hair. Uh -huh. And this is a toothbrush. And it's for... brushing your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what color would you like for the comb? Hmm. Green! Great! Just like grass and frogs. 
I love that color. And what about the toothbrush? Uh -huh. <laughs> Two colors? Well thought, Daddy. <laughs> we color it in blue and orange. They're perfect because those two colors go great together. <laughs> and what about this device? Oh. Do you know what it is? <laughs> no, Eddie, it's not a megaphone. It's a hairdryer. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. It's normal you don't know this one either. It's for blowing your hair dry and you don't have any. Uh -huh. Though you can also use it for blow drying your body or other stuff. Oh. So we can still keep it if you like. <laughs> Great! Let's color it in then. We can use different colors, so pick any two you like. Mm -hmm. Yellow, okay, and <laughs> pink, of course, your favorite. <laughs> and while I color in the hairdryer, why don't you think of two more colors? Because this hairdryer is going to be multicolored. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> hmm. We've already used those, Eddie. <laughs> Don't worry, we can use them again if you like them. It looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> Look, Eddie, I bet you know what this is for. <laughs> exactly! It's a soap bar! <laughs> and it's for scrubbing away the dirt of your body. <laughs> like the dirt you're covered in right now. <laughs> What color would you like your soap to be? <laughs> Blue, like sea water. <laughs> but today we're bathing in the bathtub, not in the sea though. Mm -hmm. Don't make that face. You can also play and have fun in there. Check out what I brought. Uh -huh. It's a rubber ducky for you to bathe with. Do you like it? <laughs> Fantastic. Let's color it in yellow and... Uh -huh. Finished. What is it, Teddy? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Did you want a different color? It's just rubber duckies are usually yellow. <laughs> you prefer a pink ducky? <laughs> <laughs> this one is going to be special. Let's color it in again then. We grab the color pink and... There! All done! Come on! Into the water we go! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Ah, and you can also talk with Eddie. Send him an email at learnwitheddie at asubio.tv. <laughs> he will love it. <laughs>